Welcome everyone to Montclair State University where the Red Hawks are literally soaring. Empowering, inclusive, and committed to excellence, Montclair is a public serving research university located in New Jersey, just 12 miles from New York City. Located in one of the largest, most exciting metropolitan areas in the world, Montclair provides students with incredible opportunities like internships on Wall Street, opportunities on Broadway, and lots more hands-on learning experiences all over this incredible part of the country. Montclair students have everything they need to advance the world in ways that matter. Plus, the university is recognized nationally for providing more bang for the buck and has been honored as a top gap closer for increasing graduation rates for minority students. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next hour, we're gonna soar around this absolutely beautiful campus to meet real students and incredible alumni, all who are realizing their most ambitious dreams. Welcome to Montclair State University. This is the College Tour. Montclair State University's president, Jonathan Coppell, is out to build on the university's legacy as a place that not only makes a difference in the lives of students, but also in the world. President Coppell, it is all yours. Thanks for that introduction, Alex. I'm so excited to be at Montclair State University. This is a campus that's on the move. We've got new programs, new facilities. We're growing in enrollment. This is a place where I'm excited to be and I know that students will enjoy it. And what a beautiful campus. Tons of new buildings, beautiful leafy green spaces, and what goes on in the buildings is even more exciting than what's going on outside. We've built new interactive, technologically advanced spaces, homes for computer science, communications, environmental and life sciences, business, nursing, and dance all of which are intended to create enhanced spaces for student learning. 21,000 undergraduate and graduate students getting the best learning experience available. That's what makes this place special. It's the students. I've been so impressed with the smarts, but more importantly, the spirit of students who come to Montclair State University. We've got a campus populated with first-generation students who are passionate and motivated and what really moves me is their commitment to public service. Montclair State University students wanna make a difference in the world, and that's what we're gonna prepare them to do. We've got engaged faculty who are excited about working with our students to give them the tools they're gonna to need to thrive, not just in the four years at this university, but in the years beyond graduation. And so what I say, to all of our students, including you watching this show, is Montclair State University is the place where you can empower your imagination. Your imagination over what's gonna happen for the next period of your life in college, but much more than that. What's gonna happen 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now? What kind of job do you wanna have? What kind of life do you wanna live? What kind of difference do you wanna make in the world? This is the place where that journey starts. And here's the thing, Montclair State University is a university committed to its public purpose. We're designing ourselves to embrace our responsibility to the community, to make a difference in people's lives. That starts here by building an inclusive campus community, but it extends to the student experience. You'll be out in the community, working with our partners, applying the lessons from the classroom in real time to make people's lives better. That's what it means to be a 21st century public serving university. And I can't wait to start working with you to build that future. Back to you, Alex. I think we're gonna have a great tour. Thank you, President Coppell. There's no limit to what's possible, and I'm confident you and Montclair students and faculty will indeed do great things together. That was awesome, thanks again. Now it is time to welcome one of the most recognizable voices at Montclair State University. Kaya is the general manager of the radio station 90.3 WMSC. Kaya is from New Milford, New Jersey, a senior majoring in communication and media arts and minoring in international studies. 
WMSC was named the best college radio station in the entire nation. Kaya, you're on air in five, four, three, two. I hope you're enjoying Montclair so far, Alex. As a little girl, I was filled with high-spirited energy, and I knew from the start that I'd find myself in front of the camera someday. Fast forward to senior year of high school, where I discovered my passion for broadcasting arts and found that Montclair was the perfect place to reach my desired career path. Campus involvement is woven into every student's college experience, and my bubbly self took advantage of the diverse and inclusive co-curricular activities. From a cappella club to actively attending campus recreation events, I eventually found myself volunteering at the university's radio station, WMSC. Since my freshman year, I've held several leadership positions that allowed me to maximize on my pre-professional experience. I volunteered as the office manager, executing events and starting up the WMSC monthly newsletter, for which I was personally awarded Best Business Director by the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Awards. I continued to move up the ladder from program director to now the station manager of the best college radio station in the nation. I'm happy to use my voice to promote the university. Montclair is all about cultivating a world that we aspire to live in, with students and faculty working on research projects addressing social justice and urban concerns like criminal justice reform, clean water and sustainability, public health, and equity in K-12 education. After all, diversity, inclusion, and public service is in our culture. If I were to summarize my years at Montclair, it would be that you get out of life what you put into it. With all of the education, resources, mentors, and community offered here, it propels you to work towards the person that you'd like to become. In my case, that is a TV news reporter at a local station. Catch you on the screen very soon. Back to you, Alex. Kaya, that was great, and so is WMSC. You can tune into the station on the iHeartRadio app. I love how Montclair students are raising their voice to engage and advance social issues. And Kaya, I know you will have great success. Your energy is contagious. Thank you. Next up, Natalia, a freshman from Oakland, New Jersey. Natalia came to Montclair not yet decided on a major. She got a jump start on her freshman year at a summer bridge program that helped incoming students with college preparedness and engaged them in a full spectrum of tutoring and campus activities. Take it away, Natalia. I'm a freshman at Montclair State University. I am fluent in Spanish and currently learning ASL. Music, theater, and art are very important aspects of my life. I am a presidential scholar and an honor student, and I haven't declared a major, but I'm confident that Montclair State will give me the opportunities to pursue a future in visual or performing arts. One of my favorite things is sharing experiences with other people, and already I felt welcome in the Montclair community. This past summer, I attended the Summer Bridge program, which helped me feel more prepared to take on college life and engage with resources and activities on campus. It made the transition very smooth. I've made new friends, both those who commute and those who dorm throughout the year, and it was the smallest interactions that truly meant the most. Taking late night walks around campus, going to the amphitheater and just singing our hearts out. Good God, let me give you my life. One day, I went into the communal kitchen and people were just cooking, baking pastries and brownies, making popcorn. Someone was even hand rolling their own pasta and we all shared food together. That sense of community is a part of why I love Montclair so much. The engagement with peers, interaction between staff and students, and huge buffet of academic opportunities is remarkable here. There are over 300 programs across 10 colleges, and your advisors and professors are always striving to push you to be the best student and person you can be. Montclair has a population of just over 21,000 students, but the smaller class sizes make you feel more comfortable and like you're not alone. I'm very excited for my future classes and involvement on campus, and I know that no matter where my path leads me, Montclair will let me soar. Back to you, Alex.
Natalia, let's go Red Hawks. Let me see if I have this right. Pointer finger, middle finger, and thumb. Hook it like a beak and out. Let's go Red Hawks. Natalia, I love that you're off to such a great start. Best of luck. Next up is Sienna from East Orange, New Jersey, a junior visual arts major with a minor in entrepreneurship. Sienna won Startup Montclair, a Shark Tank type contest sponsored by the Feliciano Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. She says starting her own business while still in college has been the experience of a lifetime. Listen as Sienna gives us the inside pitch. Thank you so much for that introduction, Alex. And hey, beautiful people. As a young girl growing up, I always had a burning passion in me to pursue my path as an entrepreneur. It wasn't until I became older that I realized what my calling was, to impact as many people as possible and spread self-love onto the community. From this passion blossomed the Flourish by Sage brand. Flourish by Sage is a clean and sustainable hair care brand that aims to bring light to textured hair. I believe that everyone should feel confident in embracing their natural hair and in turn, their natural selves. Thanks to the opportunity provided to me by Montclair State University, I was able to boost the capital of my business by winning the Startup Montclair Pitch Competition hosted by the Valenciano Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. The Valenciano Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation provides access to resources from networking opportunities with past winners to professors' expertise and access to industry support to help students turn their passions into profits. I'm proud to say that I am now living proof of this. Not only has Montclair State University blessed me with this amazing opportunity, but the campus has also given me access to so many different panel talk events and opportunities to learn and grow from others. It's because of experiences like these that I have developed the confidence to embark on my path as an entrepreneur and be where I am today. These experiences paired with the amazing support that I get from Montclair State University has made me feel so confident in the path that I'm walking on. Back to you, Alex. Sienna, that was the perfect pitch. Good luck as you pursue your passions and continue to grow your business. And kudos to Montclair for providing aspiring entrepreneurs with all the tools they need to let their creativity and imagination soar. Montclair State University is the largest Hispanic serving institution in New Jersey. It's a place where Latinx students feel they belong, where they succeed and where they thrive. That's been the experience of Hunter, a junior business administration major with a concentration in marketing. He's from Elizabeth, New Jersey, and is on track to be the first college graduate in his family. Take it away, Hunter. Thanks, Alex. What's good, everyone? Growing up Peruvian and Colombian, family was always the most important thing to me. Both my parents worked so hard for their son to be a first-generation college student. And I knew since day one, Montclair was the place for my story to begin. There's a lot to love here at Montclair State University. Growing up, I was exposed to a ton of diversity, but coming to Montclair was a game changer. I love the support the Hispanic community has for one another here. It really does resemble that one of a huge family. I'm involved with an organization, the Brotherhood, La Hermandad an organization here on campus, and I so happen to be the creative director. We better serve Latino and black men in our everyday academic and social lives. We want to destroy the stereotype that we cannot succeed because of the color of our skin, but instead thrive and build a culture to be one respected by all members of society. Montclair State University is a place where we can succeed. The magazine, Hispanic Outlook on Education. Listen, Montclair State University has top 100 colleges for Hispanic students for the past 18 years. The U.S. Education Trust describes Montclair State University as a top gap closer, increasing graduation rates for minority students. My father would always say, it doesn't matter what you do in this life, but it's how you do it and if you're happy doing it. And I can honestly say, I'm my happiest here at Montclair State University. The community and the connections that I have made will last me a lifetime. What else you got, Alex?
Thank you, Hunter, for sharing your story and congratulations on all your successes. At Montclair State University, 30% of this year's freshman class identify as Hispanic. And many of the Hispanic and Latinx students across campus share similar stories of persistence in making the most of their college experience and making their families proud. Let's shine the light on science. Victoria is from Totowa, New Jersey, a sophomore with a double major in biochemistry and Italian, with a minor in mathematics. As you'll hear, Montclair students have opportunities to work directly with faculty in labs and research. And on a personal note, you may be surprised to discover that Victoria is a quintuplet. Thank you, Alex. Yes, you heard right, quintuplets. If you're unfamiliar, two for twins, three for triplets, five for quintuplets. Growing up as a first-generation college student, school was always the most important thing, and I was always looking to be on top. However, I was unsure on how to become involved and how to get to that place. Montclair is the perfect university to make this happen. Sitting in class, I learned about the opportunities Montclair had to offer, such as on-campus employment and research positions, open to undergraduate students, especially in the science department. As a nationally recognized R2 Carnegie doctoral research institution, we invest heavily in student and faculty research. Montclair provides students with chances to really become involved and get a taste of the real world. We have opportunities to directly work with faculty and staff in labs and in research, studying everything from the dangerous jellyfish at the Jersey Shore and the mysteries of space to social research and the analysis of business and marketing trends. I can remember wondering what research was as I was never really exposed to it before. This was the first time I had to actively apply myself to further my education and I was excited. After talking to multiple professors and searching for a direction, I knew I was headed towards the right path. After my freshman year, I had the opportunity to work in a biophysical chemistry lab with one of my chemistry professors. Here, we studied the unfoldings of proteins and the effects of UV damage on DNA molecules. Coming into lab every day gave me a sense of purpose and pride. It was a sort of catalyst in my journey to gain all that Montclair had to offer. In the lab, we had to give voice to what we were discovering and prove who we were as students. Learning was always a value that I held highly and continue to search for everywhere I go. And thankfully, Montclair proves that I can find it here. Isn't that awesome, Alex? Victoria, I love how you're setting your sights high, preparing for a career in forensic medicine. And how cool is it that you get to attend college with your siblings? A big shout out to all of them. Cheers, Victoria. Montclair is elevating all your experiences. Absolutely incredible. Take care. Okay, we're about to meet Sierra, a senior from East Orange, New Jersey, who will earn her BFA in acting. Her passion and grit is typical of the thousands of Montclair students who have inspired alumni, friends, and corporate and foundation donors to provide significant financial support for students' educations in many majors. Take it away, Sierra. Thanks, Alex. Hey, y'all. My name is Sierra Chanel, and I'm so excited to tell you about my Montclair experience. First, a little bit about me. I have always loved the arts, from dancing at three, acting at seven, painting, writing, playing the flute. All things creative have kind of just come naturally to me. I attended a performing arts middle school where I won numerous acting awards and even attended a college readiness program, so I always knew I wanted to go to college. The question was, how could I afford it? My mom had been saving for my college fund since I was younger, but it proved to be more expensive than either of us was expecting but I knew I wanted to go to a school that was close to the city and had a great arts program. So Montclair State University was just that. Thankfully, I was blessed with two opportunities for scholarship support based on my artistic and academic abilities. This was made possible through outside donors, alumni, and corporate sponsors that make sure that students across the campus are supported. Montclair State University continues to open doors for me. Not only am I able to hone my craft as an actor, but also as a dancer and student leader being a part of residence life and campus organizations like MSU Players and Complexions Band Dance Team. Now I work at the rec center teaching my own dance fitness classes and I've even been contracted by the university to choreograph their main stage shows. 
Montclair State University has molded me into the person I've always wanted to be. Confident, independent, outspoken, and unapologetically myself. Ah, it's been wonderful talking to y'all. I really appreciate it. And I'm out, Alex. <laughs>
While it didn't really work out because of our conflicting schedules, my RA at the time thought what I was doing was hilarious. So he suggested that I try out to be the mascot. I called him crazy, but did it anyway. And now here we are two and a half years later. Rocky is unlike other mascots because he doesn't just show up to sports games. Rocky can be found around campus almost any day for almost any reason. He really is a living, breathing person. Well, bird. And people go nuts just to see him or take their picture with him. On special occasions, Rocky's family will make an appearance. He has a sister, Roxy, a cousin, Ricky, an uncle, Roy, and of course, his best friend, Terry. Being the mascot has changed me in the most indescribable way. I doubt I could have even made it through college without the incredible support of the entire team and the awesome students whose faces light up every chance they get to see Rocky the Red Hawk. And although Rocky might be a flightless bird, let's soar back to you, Alex. Thank you, Rocky, or Sean, Rocky. Sean, let us in on a little secret. Each year, graduating members of Team Rocky reveal themselves at commencement by donating Rocky's big yellow talons or oversized sneakers along with their caps and gowns. You gotta love these campus traditions. Are you ready to be wowed? Jennifer, also known as JJ, from Ohio, a junior dance major who is also part of the pre-medical program, tells us what drew her to college in New Jersey and Montclair were those iconic New York City lights. JJ says the views and access to the city are amazing and the dance program is insane. Take it away, JJ. Thank you, Alex. My sister has been my biggest inspiration. I started dancing because I wanted to be like her and then became interested in the medical field when she started her journey becoming a physical therapist. Montclair State University allows me to be involved with dance while also creating a future in the medical field. The opportunities I have encountered while being a dance major have been like no other. I've been able to train with some of the industry's top educators and while being a dance major is a huge commitment, my advisors have been able to help me fit in the prerequisites needed to enter into a physician assistant program after graduation. I grew up in a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm now a college student just 12 miles outside of New York City. The views of Manhattan skyline are almost as incredible as the accessibility to the opportunities New York City has to offer to Montclair State University students. The commute is a breeze between the two train stations on campus, or by bus, or car. Montclair's architectural aesthetic of white buildings with red roofs is just another example of the beauty of the university. Being so close to New York City will make my transitions into the real world much smoother. I'll be able to audition for my dream roles like being a rocket without the hurdles of hotels, extensive travel, and being unfamiliar with the city. Also, some of the best medical professionals in the world are located in and around New York City, so my shadowing experiences will be top tier. I love what Montclair State University has brought to the table for me, and I truly believe the school is one of a kind. Thank you for joining me today, Alex. JJ, that was awesome, a grand jeté, and so was that view of New York City. Best of luck as you pursue your passions in dance and medicine. It's wonderful to have such a supportive and personalized academic environment. Montclair certainly gives you both. Cheers, JJ. Please say bonjour, hola, and ciao to Sal from Denville, New Jersey. Sal has twice graduated from Montclair State University. He earned his bachelor's in business administration, marketing concentration, and certificate in entrepreneurship, and then went on to earn his MBA in marketing and management. As part of the MBA program, he took part in a global experience to Vietnam and Hong Kong. Ni hao, Sal. Let's go. Thanks, Alex. Prior to Montclair, I had never left the country before and only been on a plane one time. Searching for global experiences was key for what I wanted in university. With its diverse student population, proximity to New York City, and year-round study abroad programs, exposure to different cultures is a regular part of the Montclair experience. And through it, I traveled twice to three different countries. Global experiences at Montclair blend the best of business, research, and culture. This was a deciding factor when choosing to pursue my MBA here. 
Through the program's international business trip, my learning was taken outside of the classroom, spending time in Vietnam and Hong Kong, becoming immersed in their cultures. Through regularly scheduled meetings with businesses and nonprofit organizations, team lunches and dinners, and excursions along the countryside, it was a learning experience of a lifetime. And the trip culminated when my cohort and I took on the final project of consulting with nonprofits and helping them develop strategic partnerships with local businesses to better serve the community. And that's just my story. Montclair State University is fostering its students' ability to learn and grow in real world environments. With research facilities in Madagascar, the Galapagos Islands, the Antarctic, and study abroad programs all across the globe, Montclair State University is making an impact. Coming full circle, studying abroad has added so much to my life and propelled me into my career. Now working as a global account manager for a firm operating in over 40 different countries, these learnings have led to more fruitful discussions with clients and colleagues, giving me the confidence to succeed. Thanks to Montclair and its global experiences, not only have I learned and grown as a person, but I've created a network of friends and colleagues all across the globe. Back to you, Alex. What a wonderful world and experiences, Sal. There are so many ways to study abroad, and with Montclair students and alumni being awarded more Fulbright scholarships than ever before, the university supports students to build careers here and abroad. Next up is Samantha from Flemington, New Jersey, a sophomore double majoring in psychology and gender sexuality and women's studies with minors in leadership development through civic engagement and Italian. Sam is a Bonner leader and volunteers at the Global Center on Human Trafficking at Montclair State and with the City of Elizabeth for homeless and at-risk youth. Take it away, Sam. I'm so happy to be here, Alex. If you had told me a year ago I would have fallen in love with Montclair State, I wouldn't have believed you. Falling in love with your school in a global pandemic is just as hard as you think it is. Luckily, I had the Bonner Leader Program. I've had the opportunity to complete at least 300 hours of community service each year. This includes the Bonner's week-long orientation. There, we do things such as renovating homes, helping facilities where they help people with developmental or physical disabilities, and helping feeding the homeless in Atlantic City. For me, my fellow Bonners, it was inevitable forming a family-like bond after putting in so much effort into a cause bigger than all of us. Our community service continues throughout the year with days commemorating the 9-11 Day of Service and Martin Luther King Day of Service. Each year, more than a thousand students are engaged in partnership with 200 plus community partners to seek solutions to real issues of public concern. Opportunities for students include the Bonner Leader Program, AmeriCorps, and the Community Engaged Learning Program. Personally, I am minoring in leadership through civic engagement. I hope to use this minor to professionally create service opportunities that align with my community values. Even if community service is not your thing, the environment that Montclair provides for its students is an experience that any young adult can benefit from. I barely started my sophomore year, and I'm already so much more of the person I've dreamt of becoming. It was wonderful talking to all of you today. Now, it's time for you, Alex. Fantastic work, Sam. Here at the College Tour, we love seeing Montclair's vibrant volunteer spirit, students making connections and impacting local communities. Students are engaged, giving back, and making a difference in their lives and the lives of others. Well done. Okay, everyone, let's go live to Giovanna, a senior journalism major with a minor in business from Glassboro, New Jersey. Montclair's location just outside of New York City provides countless opportunities for internships and hands-on experiences with local governments, businesses, nonprofits, schools, and healthcare. Giovanna won a major college journalism award examining mental health, work that led to an internship with ABC News. Take it, Giovanna. You know, Alex, growing up, I participated in theater, wrote books and poems. I even reenacted reporters by writing scripts to report on breaking news and the weather. At first I thought, I want to be an anchor woman. 
But that changed when I got to Montclair State University. In the School of Communication and Media, I've sat in control rooms and operated teleprompters, fulfilled roles as one of the senior producers and an executive producer for an award-winning news program called Montclair News Lab. And that is when I realized I love being behind the scenes. In the School of Communication and Media, we have a partnership with Sony, which supplies the latest technology for us to practice our crafts cameras, lights, microphones, and so much more. Professors teach you how to properly handle and operate equipment. Faculty either currently work in the field or are retired and bring their real world experiences into the classroom. Our program reflects what's going on in the industry in terms of social media, digital technologies, and emerging platforms, and gives students the opportunity to test the waters to see what best suits them, whether it's video production, public relations, newspaper, radio, video and film. There's an opportunity for everyone. Montclair is located right outside of New York City, making it a perfect location for people in the media industry. And conveniently, we have our own train station, which makes for a smooth commute to my internship at ABC News. I'm part of a team that reports on breaking news and special events like royal weddings and famous deaths. The mentorship program, along with career services, helps prepare you for the interview and application process. Professors are so resourceful and have so many connections. They help cultivate your craft by teaching you how to communicate, write scripts, edit, and all these things I've learned align with my internship at ABC News. Isn't that amazing, Alex? Giovanna, that's a wrap from someone who has spent his career in front and behind the camera. I appreciate everything you're being exposed to. And what a location. Montclair is at the center of the media universe with communication facilities that rival Hollywood's. Take care. Now, here's a class act. Nikki James is getting an early start to professional success as a teacher. She is from Parsippany, New Jersey, and has a double major in psychology and elementary education, and will earn her Master's of Arts in teaching in five years, additionally certified as a teacher of students with disabilities. Nikki James, school is in session. Thanks, Alex. My first time teaching in the classroom was at 14 years old, and I absolutely fell in love with the environment. I heard about the amazing opportunities at Montclair State University from my favorite high school teacher and knew I had to apply. Throughout my time here, I have enjoyed hands-on experience. Everything from working with severely autistic children in the city of Newark, New Jersey, to teaching in suburban schools. I have also had tutoring opportunities that allow me to work with students one-on-one -on -one and understand issues they face within the classroom, help them gain confidence, and make learning engaging. There are thousands of ways to get involved at Montclair State University and meet great people on campus. I am currently in my second year as a university fellow. As a fellow, I mentor and support new students as they transition to Montclair through the New Student Seminar. I offer help by answering questions, offering my recommendations and experiences on campus, and connecting students to resources. I am just one of many students across dozens of disciplines. Business, sustainability science, computer science, psychology, education, and more, who are enjoying the benefits of Montclair State's combined programs through the graduate school. There are more than 70 five-year bachelor's and master's programs, and 14 four plus one MBA programs. Before I know it, I will be joining the Montclair alumni teaching in New Jersey schools, teachers who are addressing the social inequities that continue to impact the educational experiences and outcomes for many students. With my dual degree, I will be extremely qualified to work as multiple kinds of educators. Montclair has taught me how to be creative, kind, and inclusive to all students, faculty, and families. Over to you, Alex.
Mickey James, you are a star student and a teacher beyond excellence in making a real difference in the classroom. Not only do Montclair's combined programs give graduates a head start on careers, they can save up to $7,000 pursuing a combo degree. That makes great sense. Take care. Now let's raise the curtain on Joe, a senior in the BFA acting program with a minor in criminal justice from Ridgefield Park, New Jersey. Montclair's art community has a great story to share. The university is a state designated center of excellence in the arts with national accreditation in all arts disciplines. Joe, please take your place. Hi, Alex. Here at the Montclair BFA Acting Program, we house our classes at the College of the Arts. We work in rooms next to our dancers, musical theater majors, and production design team. As an actor, I'm a storyteller. Here's my story. Once upon a time, I arrived here in 2018, really excited to be able to be in a major that I love. To be working with teachers that are both professionals in their fields and mentors as students is a really intuitive thing for me. And I realized there were many ways to express myself as an artist. Here, I was able to perform as a sophomore at the Alexander Kasser Theater. At the Kasser, we also have our peak performances, where we invite students and outside artists for music, dance, and theater. I start my day off exercising at the rec center, and then I follow up a mixture of my gen ed and core classes. At Montclair, we also have the opportunity to create and direct our own shows through the Friday Afternoon Student Theater Program, or the FAST Program, where we have the opportunity to produce, direct, and act in our own shows or already written work to a live audience. We also have the opportunity to work with the School of Communications and Media, where we can work on our film acting, where we have full sets ready to work in. At Montclair, by unlocking my body and studying many works of text, I have become a much more competent and conscious artist. I realize now the reason why I do what I do and what purpose I serve as a storyteller. And in the audience, if I can inspire someone out there to live their passion, then I have done my job. I have Montclair to thank for that. Right, Alex? Thank you, Joe. It's wonderful to see so many ways to connect to the arts. Peak performances, the Film Institute, galleries, student performances, guest artists, and classes with professors who are professionals in their field. I look forward to giving you a standing O on Broadway. Cheers, Joe. Next up, everyone, Ray Vinson, a senior television and digital media major with a minor in art and design studio. He is a proud Filipino-American from Washington, DC. Transferring to Montclair, Ray discovered more than 120 organizations, student government, academic clubs, the student newspaper and radio station, Greek life, and artistic, spiritual, political, issues-oriented, and cultural and community service organizations. Absolutely amazing. Ray, please take it away. Thanks, Alex, what a great introduction. Growing up, I've always been passionate about the arts of television and filmmaking. However, when I transferred to Montclair State University, I discovered the passion for higher education. What attracted me to Montclair State University was the many opportunities it offers its students. Since I transferred here, I have been privileged enough to become a resident assistant, where I can create a safe space for first year students and also be a shoulder for them to lean on if a problem comes up. I'm also a teaching assistant for the University School of Communication. We're called University Fellows. We do not only create lesson plans for first year students, but we also mentor and provide them resources so they can thrive on campus. Through these different leadership roles, I have been able to create lifelong connections with my coworkers and supervisors who I look up to as parental figures. This year, I decided to participate in a different leadership role, the Student Government Association, and now I serve as its Director of Outreach. Through this leadership role, I hope to advocate for the students, shedding a light to the issues that the student body has, and bridging the gap between campus administrators and student life. My experiences here has not only helped me be a better student, but also be a better person. I hope to help and leave a positive impact in people's lives. I don't know exactly where I'm headed, but I do hope to pursue a master's in higher education. What's next, Alex?
Ray, you've made a positive impact at Montclair, the very definition of the involved student. Coming to Montclair, you too will have the opportunities to lead, make friends, and experience college at its fullest. Thank you, Ray, for sharing your story. Take care. Let's welcome Destiny, a senior from East Orange, New Jersey, studying family science and human development with a concentration in family services and a minor in social work. Destiny is involved in a wide range of activities at Montclair State, and importantly, she learned to seek out help when she needs it. Please join Destiny as she shares her personal journey. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. Growing up, I didn't have many resources because my family immigrated to America. So when choosing a school, I wanted something close to home to help aid my mother. One of the many reasons I chose Montclair State University is because the school provides programs for independent students. As an independent student, I struggle with mental wellness. I didn't have a strong family foundation, but Montclair State offered programs that made me feel at home. We have a program called Red Hawk Fellows. The program gave me access to personal and life skills support all year round. My upbringing inspired me to get involved as an outlet. I became an orientation leader for the Center for Leadership Engagement, which made me more culturally competent. Being heavily involved, I oftentimes forgot how important self-care can be. I focused more on giving to others than giving to myself. And after a while, I felt depleted. I ended up checking in to the Counseling and Psychological Services, also known as CAPS, and building my faith in God helped navigate and redirect my path. As a senior, I can say that Montclair has a great community and staff that cares for the well-beings of their students. I am the leader I am today because of all the trainings and support I received at Montclair State University. In sharing my story, I hope to inspire others. If I can do it, so can you. Always remember, Alex, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. Back to you. Thank you, Destiny, for speaking from the heart. As you told us, Montclair is always there for its students, whether for health, safety, or personal and academic development. We found students using a well-stocked food pantry, building a career wardrobe, and receiving physical and mental health care right here on campus. Stay well. Okay, let's meet the president of the Student Government Association, Ashan. Ashan entered Montclair State unsure of a major, but found at Montclair a supportive home for students exploring their options. Ashan is from Hillside, New Jersey, and will graduate with a degree in business administration with a concentration in management and a minor in business relationships and professional selling. Amazing. Take it away, Ashan. Hello, hello. Thank you for the introduction, Alex. I remember my junior year of high school, I was looking for potential colleges. I knew for a fact I'd be staying in state. I just didn't know where and what for. Let's just say I found everything I was looking for on this campus. Montclair has set me on an academic leadership and career path that I can only dream of. I have been blessed to have branched out to the various opportunities this campus has had to offer. When I was a first year student here, I was in search of a passion. To this day, I cherish those moments as a first year student when I attended a variety of events such as seminars on professionalism, finances, goal setting, discussion groups, and even the educational events that were offered here at Montclair. I realized year after year how important it is to get involved. I have taken part and involvement with student organizations just like the Brotherhood La Armenda, the Latin American Student Organization, the Black Student Union, the Fashion Club, and Rise Up. I am now Executive President of the Student Government Association. My advisors, my friends, my Montclair State University family have given me a map to navigate not just my life, not just my major, but my path to where I'm at now and my rise to leadership on campus. From the leadership skills I have developed to the various campus positions I've taken part in, I could not have imagined how things would have gone if I did not take it upon myself to make the decision to come to Montclair. Thank you for listening to my story, Alex.
Ashan, I know a lot of people have been watching and applauding your rise as a valued student leader, while at the same time navigating and advancing your academic and career paths. You certainly have my vote. Well done, Ashan. Cheers. Please say hello to Anthony, a junior majoring in Earth and Environmental Science from Ewing, New Jersey. Anthony is in the teacher education program, studying to be a high school teacher, part of Mark Claire's four plus one combined bachelor's and master's programs for educators. Anthony gives campus tours, pointing out the above ordinary views and the above ordinary buildings to the above ordinary students like you on college visits. Alex, thanks for the introduction. Not only do I have a really strong passion for teaching, but also actively improving the field around me and welcoming students of all neurodiversity and ability into a STEM classroom. One of my favorite things that I've been doing since my freshman year is giving campus tours all throughout the year, whether it's one of our campus tours directly, one of our virtual campus experiences, or even one of our open houses. I absolutely love bringing people onto Montclair's beautiful campus because there's just so much going on, whether it's one of our bingo nights, a giant petting zoo over in front of the student center quad, or an entire carnival. I absolutely love everything going on here. Despite all the fun to be had, the classes are where Montclair really shines. With really small class sizes and departments that really care about changing their field, it's no wonder that Montclair professors are known far and wide. Every time I bring someone on Montclair's campus, I feel like I'm taking them into my own personal paradise, and I really hope that they get to share that experience with others in just the same way. With Montclair being such a diverse community and a Hispanic-serving institution, we're really glad to welcome not only people from all walks of life, but also all over the world. If I've learned one thing from my time here at Montclair, it's that home is where your heart is. And with all the friends and opportunities I've had here, it's always gonna be a part of my life. And I can't wait for other people to experience it the same that I have. Take it away, Alex. Thank you, Anthony. With in-person and virtual ways to visit, we encourage you to see for yourself what Montclair is all about. If you're lucky, Anthony will be your guide, answering your questions and setting you on the right path. Let's meet Jean-Paul, a star athlete while at Montclair State University and current high school history teacher in Union, New Jersey. Motivational speaker and founder of Hope and Future. He's been featured on ESPN and more from motivating the New York Giants to a Super Bowl victory with All In. Two little words that illustrate the concept of commitment and motivated the team. Thanks so much, Alex. In all honesty, Montclair is probably one of the last places I saw myself going. Coming from being a student athlete and playing basketball at a high AAU level and even winning a national championship, I had aspirations of going division one like the rest of my teammates. But you know, as the saying goes, if you wanna make God laugh, tell him your plans. But in hindsight, my life would not have been the same without the time I was blessed to spend here. If I could use one phrase to describe my time here at Montclair, it would be room to soar. Uh, no pun intended. You know, ever since getting here, I had that, that freedom to be able to explore new opportunities. You know, my dad being an immigrant from Havana, Cuba and being a cornerback for the Oakland Raiders, you know, I was always raised with a very strong work ethic. And so being able to come to a place of individuals who understood my work ethic, understood they didn't have to yell or, you know, almost babysit me, but instead provided opportunities. I remember my basketball coach, Ted Fiore, he pretty much gave me the keys to the gym because he knew I wanted to work as hard as I possibly could to be the best student athlete imaginable. Getting up at 5 a.m., shooting 500 shots before class started. You know, having history professors that, you know, they didn't tell you what to think. They inspired you to want to impact people. And, you know, I, I just developed a love and a passion for how I could help my community, not by studying something that happened in the past, but by being inspired to want to change the present. And that's probably one of the greatest things I got from my time here at Montclair. Academically, I also found amazing professors. Watching my history professors in action inspired me to want to become a history teacher and impact the lives of the youth in my city and teach them that history is not something you study, but something you create. In my speaking tours, I share what it means to be all in. Whether it's at Hong Kong financial institutions, national car manufacturer sales meetings, professional sports team training camps, or juvenile detention centers. I always mention my Montclair roots. 
It's amazing that across the globe, there is usually at least one individual in the audience with some sort of connection to the university, a testament to the network of over 130,000 fellow Red Hawk alumni. Montclair is one of the life-changing places that God allowed me to be a part of that helped me not just to develop a philosophy, but a lifestyle of being all in. Back to you, Alex. Jean-Paul, I love the concept of being all in, committing to your personal dreams, no matter the obstacles you face. Thank you for sharing your story. And that is just one of 130,000 alumni stories worldwide. Hearing from Jean-Paul, it's clear the Red Hawk Alumni Network is a powerful, powerful group. You can feel the momentum here at Montclair State University. I want to thank everyone for sharing their personal stories and unbounded enthusiasm. I'm impressed with each of you and Montclair's welcoming spirit, elevating you on your journey. From your beautiful campus with those amazing views of the iconic New York City skyline and the opportunities that being right outside of New York City holds for internships and careers. It's easy to see why students of all backgrounds, beliefs, and identities fall in love with the Montclair campus and immediately feel right at home. That's all for me. Now it's up to you all to learn more about Montclair for yourself, and hopefully we'll see you on campus real soon. Cheers, everyone.